You're very welcome to the Lee Shopping Centre Senior Football Championship quarter-final clash between O'Dempsey's and Port Arnington. This game today is brought to you by Tracy's Barn Restaurant based in the heat, calling for a great pint and great food. Farrell and McElwee Solicitors, providing a trusted and results-driven service. JK Autos, based in the heat, just two minutes off the M7 motorway. Find them at jkautos.ie. Beers on Wheels, the best bar equipment with home draft beers, along with the Gallopers Rest Mobile Bar, now taking bookings for Christmas parties. DS Sports, based in Emo, check out the half price sale online now. Jason Redmond and Associates, consulting engineers, based at Lismart Court in Port Leash. And today's Man the Match brought to you by the Heritage Hotel in Killinard. The Heritage will be open to residents only between the 7th and 28th of October. Blake's Restaurant, the Span Health Club, will be open for residents only. The Health Club will be open to Health Club members only. So why not join the Health Club or book a night away now at the Heritage Hotel in Killinard. All very welcome here today to MW Harrowmore Park. Wet and cold MW Harrowmore Park for the Lee Shopping Centre Senior Football Championship quarter final between Port Arnton and O'Dempsey's. Joined today by Eddie Kinsella, um, the under 20 football manager, and a lot of other accolades with you, Eddie. But oh, and, and look at the teams as we have them. So we're going to start with the um, Port Arnton team. And um, in goals is Scott Osborne. Uh, full back line Cahill Bennett, Robbie Piggott, and Alex Mohan. Half back line Stuart Mulpeter, Jason Moore, and Adam Ryan. Midfield, Owen McCann and Keith Bracken. The half forward line, Ronan Coffey, Sean Byrne and Rian Murphy. And the full forward line is Jake Foster, David Murphy and Colin Murphy. So I suppose, Eddie, that change there was that Ronan Coffey comes back in and Colin Murphy come back into the team. And it looks like Colin Slevin and Stephen O'Neill make way for both of them. So I'm sure we'll see them lads later on, you would expect. <laughs> the O'Dempsey team as they line out, Podge Bannon is in goal. The full back line, Carmel Cahora, Shane Nerney and Tom Kelly. The half-back line, Robbie Kyo, of course, is suspended and he's replaced by number um, 23, Peter O'Leary. Um, no mean sub there, as uh, Brian Meredith comes in, is replaced in by the Hatch. Finley is obviously coming into the forward line, but he's playing there. Fionn Holland is on the other wing back. Midfield, Brian Nugent and Barry Howland. Half-forward line, Johnny Kelly, Connor Meredith and Barry Kelly. The full forward line, Mick, Michael Finley, Dan McCormack and Mark Barry. Oh, and Bragging Rice involved there, if whoever wins that battle, but something going on there that James Malheur spotted the sh- kick is taken short and Bracken has it Bracken back it comes uh, to Colin oh, Murphy kicks the ball and that's a great yeah. score and um, that's why they needed him back uh, Eddie yeah great it's here I see Alex Moan won the first two battles of the community between himself and Michal Finley so Alex Moan has started really great in this game so Colin Murphy thankful of the free will delight the stroke over and the umpire says it's a free a point and it goes over they stretch out their lead. One yard's out to score against that wind. They start to kick Jason out Jason Moore gets it. Hatch on his back there, but the Jason wins through there. Now it comes to um that was Alex Mohan outside him. Mohan outside to that's um Rona Coffee. Yeah, Rona Coffee, yeah. Coffee back to Adam Ryan. Ryan inside and missed there. David Murphy comes out. David will settle it. Back it comes to Coffee, back to Ryan, back to Murphy, back to Ryan, Adam Ryan. Ryan's still going back to David Murphy. D- Murphy turns out on his right, kicks it over the bar. Yeah. That's a great score. Brilliant score, a combination of Ronald Coffey, Alex Moore. He could be coming out here. Um, that's the hatch, so they play on. Sean Byrne gets to Jason Moore back to Byrne. Mark Barry coming out to Byrne, but doesn't have to intercept him. Big launch one in. Who's this going to? Colin Murphy played that well. He nearly broke to David, but he'd still get it. He breaks outside Barry Holland out towards him. David trying to get on the right boot, and David can score those all day, yeah. and that's what he does. Exceptional. It's a great man. score. The ball is kicked in long into Colin Murphy. Yeah. It's retaliation, but listen, I think. Mark was probably fouled the first time I'd say yeah. uh, yes. to give him the free maybe was Conor Murdoch short to Conor Murdoch Murdoch tries to kick and that could bend the cross oh. and that looks that's a fantastic that's a score yeah score. absolutely score. great yeah. score yeah what a break back yeah we head for a Colin Murphy takes up and kicks it straight over the, uh, did he straight over that great score Royce well, Tyson Colin Murphy we yeah. probably knew it was a little bit hurt this and get him another point up Another point on the scoreboard before half time, which should be fast approaching. And the hatch takes this. Is it going over? It is. Yeah, that's a great score. It's gone over the bar. Great score. Great score again the wind. I think Tom Kelly's in a bit of trouble for Dempsey's here. What was wrong with him? And that's unfortunate there for Tom Kelly. And Tom was, Tom was playing quite well. Yeah, he was, yeah. 
So as um, James Mulher calls half time, 34 minutes, 20 seconds gone. Um, you know, a hard game in these conditions, Eddie. Um, Port Arrington, five points to two up, only three points. Didn't go, popped out his hands, popped to the side. Adam Ryan gets his hands on it. The ball gone all over the place. Colin Slevin, back to Adam Ryan. Ryan on the left boot, and that's a, yeah, that's an excellent score, Eddie. That's well, really what Port Arrington wanted. Brilliant it? score, brilliant work bit by uh, Adam. But they've been down before in games, and they've held on. Um, but this is going to be a tough task, but Paj Bannon makes it the extra man who goes outside to Barry Kelly. Kelly been tackled there hard by Rian Murphy. Rian, really tenacious tackler, great player. As me all comes out and meets him and goes on to Barry Kelly, who's up beside him on the O'Leary. O'Leary takes it with the right kick. If that goes over, that's a fantastic score. That's Best a score. that's a, a score for the team. He, he, makes uh, he, obviously, the wind, yeah. he obviously told it to Seamus Mulher what his intention was going to do. So Colin Murphy, the second chance he's going to get it with the proper ball, full of air, and over goes, uh, and that's him stretched out to four points. Really going to be hard. Yeah. Bohora, um, they came through the burst in the middle and they get the free as Tom Bean sets it off to Mark Barry. Mark Barry, you know, this is what he does best, and that's what he's done again. Let's go. And that's what they need more of that O'Dempsey's, and they need that from um, Port Arrington leave. 59 minutes gone. It's a real low scoring game with this weather. You'd expect nothing else as Port Arrington come on the attack with Colin Murphy. Murphy would be really tenacious today with him, still has the ball. Looking, Peter O'Leary chasing him. So is Barry Kelly. Barry Kelly gets him. Turn aside to Murphy. Murphy pops it across to O'Neill. O'Neill with a shot. And that could well be the insurance yeah, point, Eddie. Couldn't it at this stage? Brilliant work by Colin Murphy again. Another tenacious tackler. And uh, linesman still trying to get in the, the subs there. Not working for him, but Port Arrington on mine. And the final whistle is blown. And Port Arrington win today on a scoreline of. Eight points to four. And today's Man the Match brought to you by the Heritage Hotel in Killinard. The Heritage will be open to residents only between the 7th and 28th of October. Blake's Restaurant, the Span Health Club, will be open for residents only. The Health Club will be open to Health Club members only. So why not join the Health Club or book a night away now at the Heritage Hotel in Killinard. And today's Man the Match is Port Arlington's Colin Murphy. On a day when scores were limited, Colin popped up with four pints, three frees and one superb pint from play, as you can see from the clip here. Kudos, Colin.